hey y'all good morning glad you're here to spend some time with me now i'm usually late to things because that's just how i am and i feel like i probably have heard something of this before something called 75 hard um so I feel like I don't want to explain what it is because I know y'all have probably already heard of it and me just being late to the party that's just what it is so I want to try it and I don't want to try it I am I'm not really okay first let me say 75 hard is hard it's very strict um, something that I like about it is just the consistency and being, you know, having stick to for 75 days. Um, starting today on the 75 hard, my end day will be December 20th, which is just like, oh, that's a perfect day. So I'm not going to do 75 hard. I'm going to adapt it to my needs. Um, in 75 Hard, you have to read not a nonfiction book. I think it's one hour. Is it one hour or 30 minutes? I believe it's one hour. Um, a nonfiction book um, every day. And I feel like that is so perfect because it will help me to be more consistent with my Bible study. Um, but with 75 Hard, you have to use... A physical book you cannot do audiobooks so for me that's out but what I'm gonna adapt to that is one hour of nonfiction but also one hour of fiction I'm so much better at reading a physical book of fiction than I am at nonfiction whether that's the Bible or any other nonfiction book um, but with fiction, I do audio, physical, anything. Any way I can get it in, I'm going to get it. Um, I just finished reading James um, by Percival Everett. Mm, it's so good. I'm going to talk about it on here. I'll talk about it later. But um, yeah, so 75 hard. A gallon of water. Yes. It says a gallon of water. However, me, I know some people do not, but me, I count my herbal teas as water because I'm not adding anything to it you know if I'm drinking peppermint tea I drink about 32 ounces of peppermint tea um, every day a ginger peppermint tea every single day um, I also take in lemon water like I don't think any of that counts towards the gallon I'm gonna count that towards my gallon so that's what I'm like it's not 75 hard it's just some I don't know, my Ema <laughs> my Ema adapted okay so what else is there that I loved oh the fitness I want to be more consistent with my hit um, I did that this morning I did my hit cardio this morning I'm on my way to the gym today to lift weights um, lifting weights for me my goal is four days a week I'd like to do it five days a week but four days a week is good because when I tell y'all I am sore, sore, sometimes it hurts. Like, <laughs> some of this is ridiculous and hilarious. I, um, when I first started lifting weights and the next day I would be so sore or the end of the day I would be sore, I'd be like, oh my God, what is happening? My body is breaking down because I'm aging. But I'm like, oh no, that's because you lifted weights. That's what that is. It's like, oh goofy but yeah four to five days of weightlifting hit every morning every single morning and walking for a minimum of 8,000 steps so those are the basic fitness things and then there's my bible study my fiction reading um meditation I said water already right meditation flexibility exercises so yeah I've set those goals up for myself I've talked to my bestie about them 
as kind of like, not like she's gonna hold me to it, but you know, we have goals like accountability, right? And then I also downloaded or re-downloaded um, the pay version of this app called Task. Um, I think it's called, no, it's not called Task. It's Habit, it's called Habit. So yeah, I signed, I got that some years ago, like the free version. And I didn't even remember that I, I had it, but when I went to download it, it said reinstall. So I was like, oh yeah, you already had this girl. So anyway, these are my last few little days here in Atlanta. Bye East Atlanta. Um, relocating back to Jersey to be a support um, for my mama. And also the guy I'm seeing is up there. So that's also good. Bonus. So yeah, I'm doing a few last things around town. I'm gonna go to the farmer's market because you know, I'm not cooking. So they have a great prepared food section over at DeKalb Farmer's Market. I love their tabbouleh. I love their um, chickpea salad, their curry chicken salad. I'm naming all these things. I'm just gonna get two things because I'm out of here um, the day after tomorrow. So yeah, my Waffle House. <laughs> I haven't been to Waffle House in a while though, but something about leaving makes me like, hmm, you want a waffle? What does Waffle House have that I like? They, the thing is, I have to be in the mood for a waffle. And Waffle House, you know, sometimes, I don't know, the environment, I don't want to sit in there and eat, especially if it's just me. And the waffles don't really travel well. Like, I'm going to take a waffle home. It'll be, you know, not hot by the time you get it home. I guess you could put it in the air fryer. Anyway, I'm just babbling now, but yeah, so this is just a note to self. I'm about to begin some new tasks, some new goals. I just set some goals for myself last night and this morning, and um, yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm so thankful that I found out about it because it just when I was watching the vlog, another a vlogger was I was watching was talking about it, um, Mika. Mika, fasting weight loss. I like her very much. She is exactly the type of person who will achieve her goals no matter what. I respect her so much because we all fall down. The power is getting back up and she does it every single time. And I hadn't seen any of her videos in such a long time and so I was catching up on videos last night and that's when she was talking about 75 hard and you know she fell off a couple times and got right back on the horse and she starts back over from day one oh girl that's why I'm like I want to do this and I don't want to fall off at all because I would oh just to start over I don't know if I would do it. And she was starting over, it's like, oh, she didn't finish her gallon of water. Like she drank almost a gallon, but not quite. That, that, mm, that that's determination. That is stick to that is, mm, that is admirable. And I admire that about her. So yes, I am, I have been inspired by Mika Fast and Weight Loss to set, set some really firm goals for myself. I'm not gonna say 75 hard because it, it is not. I'm not drinking plain water and I'm not gonna be reading a physical book, but I am starting my plan today and I am thankful. So that is all. I'm about to pull up on the, um, on the Planet Fitness. Somebody outside of the market selling something. So, okay. That is all. I'll 
check in later. Bye.